If you've been trying to get with a girl and she won't hear you out, it can be frustrating. Does she like you? Does she not like you and she assumes her ignoring you will help you get the hint? Or does she like you and she assumes ignoring you will make you pursue her even more? What should you do when a girl ignores you? It can be really discouraging and frustrating when a girl ignores you. You've tried everything you can to get her attention, and yet she hardly knows you exist. Obviously, this upsets you, and you probably want to know what to do next, right? This video is brought to you by Answerly, a question platform that pays you for adding high-quality answers on different questions. The users are rewarded in Answerly tokens, which they can easily convert into dollars or any other cryptocurrency by using one of the exchanges mentioned in the description. Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel. In today's video, we'll be talking about the things to do to not be ignored by a girl again. For thousands of years, both humans and animals have engaged in something called a meeting ritual, and researchers have discovered that the rituals for both humans and animals are incredibly similar. During these rituals, the male puts on some sort of display, and then the female is the one who decides if she is the one who wants to mate with that male or a different male based on various factors. But have you ever asked yourself why? Why is it that it's always the female who chooses the male and not the other way around? Look at posts from pretty much any attractive girl on Facebook, Instagram, or other similar apps and you'll find no shortage of guys who would love for that girl to choose them. But wait, before we continue, make sure to smash the subscribe button, click the notification bell right now for you cannot miss out the best of the best technique for you to win a girl. So when rare high-quality men do something a little bit differently, it completely flips everything upside down and leaves the girl questioning everything that she's never known about how males and females work. Something that you have to understand is that girls are used to getting attention. In fact, men frequently drive the cards into telephone poles or off the road entirely because they were trying to get a better look at an attractive girl that was walking down the road. But most men don't have any idea what this feels like because men rarely receive this kind of attention. And you better believe that if you were to get this kind of attention, it would quickly go to your head and completely wrap your view of your own importance. So what happens is that girls are taught from a young age that they're the prize when it comes to mating between men and women. And then all the constant attention that they get from men growing up serves to reinforce this belief. And so before you know it, you have a situation where it's always the girl who chooses the guy and not the other way around. But here's the thing, most men actually play right into this scenario. The reality is that most guys are so desperate that they will latch onto a girl that gives him even a little bit of attention, and girls can tell almost instantly if a guy likes him or not just based on his body language and their highly sensitive intuition. And once she knows that you like her, or once she knows that you are just another quote-unquote thirsty guy, she ultimately knows that she's the one who will decide if she will give you a chance rather than the other way around. So what's happening is that she's the one who is qualifying you, and what that actually means is that she has all of the power in this situation, and you have none. And the thing with girls is that they're not stupid. They know that most guys will do anything to spend the night as long as the girl is at least somewhat physically attractive. So as men, how do we flip the script? Or how do we put ourselves in the position of power? The solution to this problem is simple, but most men simply don't do it. Why? Because most men have low standards. Most guys on this planet will accept pretty much anything that comes their way, no matter the consequences. This is kind of a weird example. Imagine what would happen if you agreed to marry some girl from another country, and all that she had to go on was a small picture of her. Sadly, if this girl was moderately attractive, a large percentage of men on this planet would easily agree to this, even if they knew nothing about her. And this is because most men have low standards, and they will accept pretty much anything that comes their way. And what this does is constantly tell girls that they are always the ones with the power or the ability to choose their mate when this isn't necessarily true. In Vegas, there is a slot machine. Imagine the slot machine is your life, and the offers that you are receiving are girls who have shown interest in you. But if you just took the first offer every single time, even though the other offers would have given you a much larger cash price, something that happens to guys who have been with many girls is that they naturally develop higher standards. Something else that you'll notice as you develop more experience with girls over time is that you'll start to see various patterns or types of girls, and you'll start to see patterns within their personalities. But even more importantly than that, you'll begin to find out what you like and what you don't like. And this is the most important thing because, as men, we just want to have fun, happy life without too much drama, and the higher our standards become, the more we're able to enjoy what we like and avoid what we don't like when it comes to females. 
One of the greatest temptations for us men is to sit and think about the typical things that guys think about when they're around girls. And all of you know exactly what that is. Now, pretty much all girls just automatically assume that these things are all that we think about when we're around them. And in most cases, they're right. So imagine what would happen if you aren't really so easily impressed by their good looks. Imagine what would happen if you viewed things a little bit differently than most men. Instead of her qualifying you, it was you qualifying her. Qualifying a girl is as simple as asking questions that cover whether or not she has certain qualities that you're looking for within a female. But on the most fundamental level, it is about not giving her a free pass just because of her physical looks. The type of guy who sees a good-looking girl and thinks to himself, okay, she's good-looking. But all that she has to offer is a very rare type of man, because most men will never ever do this. All of the rarest high-value men want more from a female than simply good looks, even if it's a short-term thing. You should always seek to qualify girls based on things other than just their looks. Because the moment that you become far less impressed with their looks is the exact moment that they will become far more intrigued and attracted to you. Because most men are predictable and they don't bother qualifying your girl to see if all that she has to offer is her good looks. It doesn't matter if you just want to spend the night with a girl or if you want to marry her. Having some kind of connection with other human beings is very important, even if it's something as simple as the fact that you both like the same movies or you're both into cars. Qualifying a girl for these simple details, instead of always accepting the first offer that comes your way, can make a massive difference in how you view yourself. And as you begin to respect yourself more and hold yourself to higher standards, other people will begin to see you much more favorably as well. Once you begin to turn everything upside down and you're the one who is choosing the girl rather than the girl being the one who's choosing you, then you become the one who holds the power. And that, my friends, is a powerful thing. Women are drawn to people who believe in themselves, who knows what they want who live a life they are proud of and don't let others dictate their actions and decisions. None of this requires you to become an entirely different person. All it requires is knowing who you are, what you want, and going after it. That's how you get ahead in life, and that's how to get a girl you'll spend the rest of your life with. Now, what do you think about this technique? Let us know your thoughts in this to do things for not be ignored by a girl again in the comments section down below. If you like this video, make sure to smash the like button and subscribe to this channel. To learn more about Anchorly and Anchorly tokens, check out the links in the description.